2021 vision boards. and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit more of a casual one. So it's almost going to be like a vlog style video, but my sisters and I had the brilliant idea of filming this together as sort of a little inspirational video, if you will. And we have decided that we are going to be creating vision boards, which is actually something that we've never done before, at least in the traditional sense. I mean, we used to actually love scrapbooking. So we would cut things out of magazines and just create like really pretty layouts and designs. All of us are pretty creative and we love to do these kind of like activities together. And it's almost a good way of getting off of technology and getting off your phone and just unwinding. There's something like therapeutic about flipping through a magazine and finding inspirational things, but we're going to actually for the first time design a vision board as a way of sort of manifesting our dreams and goals for the year to come. So 2020 was sort of a crazy year for all of us, not to take anything too lightly, but it's not necessarily a year that a lot of us would like to repeat. However, there are some silver linings in every year. So however 2021 turns out, hopefully we are going to make it the kind of year that we desire. I just heard that it is a really good idea to not only write down your goals and dreams but to literally create a vision board as a way of seeing something and having it eventually come true a lot of people swear by vision boards and some people say that like everything they would cut out and hope for has actually come true so I basically looked up what the purpose of a vision board was because I kept hearing a lot about it and I wasn't exactly sure what exactly this had to do with manifesting your dreams and your desires or just setting goals for yourself. And it basically says that the vision board should act as a representation of your desires and aspirations I would say for the upcoming year, so we're sort of creating a 2021 vision board of things we would like to hopefully happen or see in the year 2021 this year. And it just says that it's a fun way to sort of motivate you and inspire you towards your goals. So hopefully you can see this and be inspired. And I believe that when you write down goals, it's even better than thinking them or saying them out loud. So writing something down is a really good idea to keep you on track of your goals and your desires. and. Oftentimes when you write something, it might even come true more so than if you dream it or imagine it. So I believe that making this vision board is hopefully going to be a way of taking that a step further and just having a nice visual of just hopeful things that we would like to happen this year as well. So however you want to consider this like a little fun activity, I would like to encourage you guys to create a vision board as well. If you do, you can tag me on Instagram, La Dolce Lisa, and I would love to see your vision boards. I think it's a really cute idea. And if anything, it's just going to be a fun activity to do hopefully this will be a much better year ahead for all of us so we bought some glue sticks I bought this decorative paper from the dollar store it just looked really cute so I'm gonna see if I would need to incorporate it I bought a couple magazines and of course instead of doing it on a bristol board we actually decided to do it on a canvas so hopefully this works out this canvas was only 250 at the dollar store so I bought an extra one just in case my boyfriend also wanted to create a vision board but this I think seems to be a pretty good size. It's 11 by 14, which is pretty good. And we'll see how this goes. I think this, if anything, will just be a really fun activity. I love arts and crafts and yeah, great for the whole family, really. <laughs> I even found this little card, guys. I remember buying this at HomeSense before because it was so pretty. I think I'm going to cut out the Colosseum because I think you all know what I'm hoping for this year. <laughs> On top of this, we also have some vintage magazines. We bought some new ones, but we also have these really old ones. I wonder if we can find anything cute inside of these. Did you see, where's the thing that I saved? They have even cute writing and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, what did you save? Torna Roma. So Jenna's finally here too, and we are going to design Hello. our little vision boards. <laughs> vision boarding for the afternoon. So I think having a vision board is a fantastic idea because I am so into this, what you put into the universe comes back to you because when I actually, just before I met my fiance, I remember writing down a list of everything I was looking for in a person and just being very specific with my list and very honest and very truthful with my list. And honestly, I put that list into place and I read it over and then I just remember sticking to my guns and like sticking to um, my values and what I wrote on there. And then I ended up meeting my fiance after that. So I really believe in kind of setting your intentions and putting it out into the universe and having it come back. And I also feel like it's just such a fun activity and it's the new year, it's January. We just had Blue Monday and it's the perfect time to sort of 
bring in the positivity and sort of rein in on that positivity and focus on things that like your goals for the future, for the year, and also things that make you happy, that genuinely make you happy and where you want to see your life and where you kind of want to end up and just, just fun, positive things. And it's creative and it's an outlet and I'm, I'm babbling. Okay. So guys, we're going to start cutting and pasting. We have a lot of work to do and we just want to bring good vibes for 2021. We want to manifest some positive things, some goals of ours, and hopefully this comes true. A lot of people rave about this. So we're going to try it out. It's actually a little like throwback because me and Lee used to always make collages. Yeah, I actually have some upstairs. I should go grab said, them. Yeah. So this is like something that we have loved to do because we just love being creative and I'm really excited. So we have some like vintage magazines. We have a couple new magazines and we're just going to kind of cut and paste what comes to us, what we feel yeah. speaks to us. And it's exciting. It's something to do. It's Ooh. fun and it's creative. And at the end of this video, I'll show you guys your vision board Jen's vision board and of we'll, course we'll talk about them a bit but I have a feeling ours are gonna all look similar because <laughs> we have similar wishes similar, but we all have our yes, own like our creative own niches, exactly. yeah like so we'll see so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how I'm going to be designing along the way but mostly you'll probably just see a quick little montage of us doing our vision boards we're gonna have some tea listen to music and just chill out as we cut and paste from magazines and various things so yeah I think before I start pasting things I'm just gonna get a bunch of cutouts out so pictures that look cute and inspirational and sort of go with my dreams or goals for the year and I'm also going to be getting cute words that hopefully are going to come to fruition in 2021. So we'll see. completed a vision board. This is my hopes, dreams, aspirations, and goals for 2021. As you can see, I have a lot of words and inspirational quotes and things because I feel like words are very important. They're very powerful. So it's really good to add words to your vision board for sure, not just pictures. And in the background, there's a bunch of pictures of things that I hope to come to fruition. So we will see. Hey Jen, this is Jen's vision board. This is mine. As you can see, just a lot of positive words. So obviously I think we all have the colors of Italy. We oh yeah, some, we do. Some sort of homage to Italy. I yeah. see Jules has it too. Yeah. I have a little to have and to hold, a little bit of my hopeful, be hopeful, be optimistic. So a little bit of a wedding theme going on there since mm -hmm. I'm trying to plan a wedding in COVID. Favorite things, family, friends, freedom and fashion, get up and glow, being grateful, happy. Every moment together is a gift. Mm -hmm. um, personal and professional growth, raise a toast to good health, and just some beautiful quotes. I really liked this one. So this was love, a string of coincidences that gathered significance and became miracles. I'm a sucker for good words. That's so cute. Yeah, yours is very quote inspired. Yes. Very pretty. Oh. All right, so this is mine. And as you can see, I have a mix of like some vintage pictures. I love this one that I found it in the vintage book. I love that. It said, see Italy first. And then you can see the Spanish steps there. So that's in so Rome. So beautiful. Love and that. And it's so cute. So I just have a bunch of like quotes, of course. Love, joy, bliss, bliss. 2021 health, character and warmth. I have this cute quote from this vintage magazine said, give me a girl with individuality. None of those all alike dolls for me. I like someone who isn't afraid to try something new to be a little different. If she's my girl, she's ahead of the crowd and maybe a little kooky. Yeah, that's really <laughs> I thought cute. that was cute. Love that. But yeah, so that's Julia's. Look how beautiful it is. It looks very like vintage chic and Jen's it looks very feminine chic. And mine looks a little bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here she is in the light of day, my vision board. I honestly think it came out really pretty. I know that a vision board is supposed to be maybe more of a visual pictures, but I think that the representation of including also words and quotes is really important. And it actually made our vision boards all look super pretty. Me and my sisters all have a similar theme where we have some pretty pictures and inspirational quotes and words as well. It just ties everything together in such a nice way. So I kind of wanted to go over my vision board a little bit and just 
really talk to you guys about sort of what I'm hoping to achieve or aspire to in the year 2021. It's a reminder of when I created this and I think it will be nice to look over next year and see what happened. As you guys can see, like I've said many times, I've been very optimistic in my travel plans. I didn't get to travel really anywhere last year at all. So I'm hoping that this year will bring me closer to my beloved Rome. Italy, Europe, anywhere like that. I'm just really hoping to travel. The best holiday of your life is something I included. Great moments. Italy, the colors of Italy, and as well, I even included the CN Tower, which is my city, Toronto, because I do want to explore Toronto a little bit better as well this year. I haven't really got to go into the city much lately, especially because of lockdown, so I'm hoping that things will change for the better and I'll get to do that as well. Now is the time, so whether that has to do with travel or with specific career, why goals I feel like that's really important to stop delaying things stop waiting for things to be perfect in order to do them just do them now now is the time it also says explore far and wide and immerse yourself in the world's wonders so hopefully I can do that one of my favorites I put it in the middle says take one small step toward a dream you have and let the next step reveal itself to you so I feel like that's really important sometimes it's just taking that small little step and achieving your goals that way because great things are accomplished by little everyday tasks and goals we set for ourselves so I really wanted to be a little bit more even career motivated this year I found this cute quote I dreamed I won the Academy Award Award. And then I saw this one as Star is Born. Not that I'm trying to achieve fame or anything, but I sort of thought that that could be a cute inspiration for maybe YouTube to hopefully get my YouTube a little bit out there, maybe just creating more content for you guys and hopefully finding even more viewers in the future. I think that would be just awesome. So I really wanted to focus on that as well. Change for the better, whatever that may be, whether that's physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, whatever that is, I think change for the better is always a good idea. So not just change, but change for the better. Tonight, I intend to wine and dine you and dress you in diamonds. A diamond eternity ring is forever. I just thought it was so cute. And I would love to be wined and dined again. It's been so long and as you can see maybe taking our relationship to the next level this year who knows but that's something I wanted to put out there as well I have a little thing of wealth and a really cute little home that I saw I think it's beautiful so who knows what that means but I wanted to include some inspirational scenes as well also I really like this picture of this girl reading and it says becoming a connoisseur of daily life so she's just reading a book quietly to herself and I thought that was so pretty just winding down and looking really peaceful there's a lot of like champagne bottles so that represents celebration this year as well I think you can see it's very romantic and a travel forward so romance and travel hopefully that's what my 2021 will look like of course guys strength health great moments, you know, family, things like that are really important. So I wanted to include those. I have a ring in the spontaneous. I also have balance because that's just like something that I live by is balance. I feel like without balance in life, guys, you, you're just going to lean too far in the wrong direction. So balance is key. You can see this little art easel, if you can't tell what that is, it's creative. And I just hope to get into art a little bit more and sort of pursue art in whatever field that is. So whether that means making more creative videos or even pursuing the actual visual arts again, because me and my sister Jules, we love to be creative and draw and paint and just create. So I just think that's really important for this year. So yeah, I really love the way this came out and I highly encourage you guys to make one as well. It was just such a fun activity. It was therapeutic and if anything, this was just a beautiful arts and crafts project that could inspire you to achieving your goals and manifesting positive things for the year to come. And I think 2021 is a year where we can all use a little bit more positivity in our life. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, this more vlog style video, give please it give it a up. thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. But we just wanted to say we had so much fun doing this, so right? Fun. This was so therapeutic and I cannot recommend it more <laughs> to people because I think it was the most positive in the flow, just yes. an amazing experience. We were in the zone, in the creative zone. We zoned I didn't even out. look at my phone. I did not I look at my phone. We it was just to, so nice. And we just listened to great music. Yeah. We were just in the flow. Drink some tea, Drink you some know? Tea, positive words. We made it very huga. Huga, <laughs> yeah. We made it very huga. And we just had such fun, like doing arts and crafts. It just like took us back to a simpler time. And I think it was that's, so fun. that's what we need sometimes. So our vision boards are complete, guys. And hopefully we have a good year to come. And I wish you all a good year as well. And if this inspired you, I hope you guys make one. It's so much fun. And all you really need are magazines, some glue sticks, and like a Bristol board Dollarama. or a canvas. Go to the dollar store. Anything, and, guys. Yeah. 
some magazines and you're good to go. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Happy 2021.